Ah, the country of California. This manifest destination has it all. Palm trees, beaches, girls, and with the year-round sun, it's a never-ending party of fun, fun, fun. Hey man, hey man, just, just stop it, right? That is like, not cool. What? I don't understand. That's not the real California, and you know it, Mr. British guy. California's not just what you see in the movies, you know? We do, um, other stuff. Plus, most people in California live in boring places, you know? Like, uh, Sacramento. Sacra what? Yeah, Sacramento. Just, uh, just check out this video about it. It's hecka cool. Sacramento is the capital of the country of California. Years ago, Los Angeles let Sacramento be capital in exchange for the city's abundant water resources. Now it's commonly hailed that people from Sacramento eat throw up for dinner and don't have running water. But I assure you that despite the deal with LA, they do have running water. There are three different ways in which the people of Sacramento live. The first is the new suburbs, where the houses haven't burned down yet. The second is the old suburbs, where old people and minorities live. And the third is downtown, where most people rarely go. In the new suburbs, these built-to-fall-apart houses are large enough to satisfy the new American consumer. Americans worship the clean-cut grass, so it's not unusual to see green lawns all year long, even if it's a drought. These suburbs are known for their spacious parks with walkways that are wider than British roads. Things are far apart here, so every resident needs a car to get to Walmart. Better make it a truck though, because everybody drives a truck here. In the old suburbs, these puny so-called houses are remnants of the old picket fence American dream, which is just not good enough anymore. So now it's housing for grandparents and liberals. Once the old residents finally die, these houses will be replaced by Walmart. Now. Downtown Sacramento is known as the City of Trees because, unlike other cities, Sacramento has trees. Sacramento is a great place to see from your car as you're driving to Los Angeles. Because there's no parking, you'll have to use the only tram to explore the city's joyful statues. This is the Capitol Building. Here they give out free water in what they call a drinking fountain. Visitors will also be surprised to find that the WCs are both frequent and free. People in Sacramento suffer from what is called bridgeophilia, as they've painted this bridge gold and worship it like a god. Oh boy, that is California's gold. Now a highlight of the city of Sacramento is Old Town. In the Old Town, you'll find dozens of quaint signs that make you chuckle. Step inside some of the shops and check out the latest in American merchandise. Don't forget to check out the train. As you immerse yourself in this western history, don't be surprised if you find yourself picking up the local accent. Now here's something that's really interesting. This grass that I'm standing on right now in front of the railroad museum, well, this grass used to be held for events where they would shine a big projector on this, this, uh, this here building behind me, and they'd show the movies, the old classic movies, like The Princess Bride and Young Frankenstein and whatnot and so forth. But it was here that you could just lay on the grass and enjoy the movie. So that's really, really interesting. On the river sits the luxurious Delta King. This riverboat dates back to 1927 and actually sank in 1981. Its ghost haunts the Sacramento River to this day. Oh, boy. 
That is California's goal. While it might seem like a nice western tourist destination, hey, Sacramento may pose a global threat. As there's evidence that the city's inhabitants are trying to change the world. F*** you, Sacramento. F*** you. Being. Existence. Youth. Angst. Beauty. Innocence, love, hatred, desire, 